A KPI is a key performance indicator or a specific number we're tracking in order to achieve an objective. So what does it look like to add a KPI and track it in Cascade? Well, let's build one from scratch to see what it looks like, and then we'll pivot right over to one that's fully fleshed out so you can see what it looks like. So if I hit add underneath this objective, as an example, the sidebar opens up, I can choose the KPI template, and let's just say that this is an annual revenue goal for 2021. But in the title, I have to call out a specific timeline because Cascade is heavily reliant on these specific timelines to drive progress. So let's say this is calendar year 2021. There we are. Very important to call out one or more owners as well. And remember, anytime an owner is listed or a co-owner, this will fall on that respective person's work board for quick access and easy updates as soon as they log into Cascade. So what's next? Well, for this to truly be a KPI, we have to go down to the tracking metric down here and then clarify what is our specific target because we have a title, we have a timeline, but what number are we actually striving for? So this is where we'll override that generic 100% target that Cascade gives us and we'll put in our overall target of let's say $5 million. Here we go. So I'll put that number in, call out the unit, and then finally, I can clarify whether or not this is going to be a monthly target or if we track this on a quarterly basis, that's all found under the advanced tracking options. So remember, Cascade is going to help push our progress from our zero point or our starting point to our 100% done point, which in this case is $5 million. So if this is going to be on a quarterly basis, I can select quarterly or monthly in this example. And I'm also going to call out steps tracking rather than linear, and you'll see that that'll change the diagram up top here. Now, the reason that's helpful is because now Cascade knows not to expect sporadic progress throughout the year at any random time. It's going to look for an update in progress explicitly once per month. So that's pretty common for KPIs is to have a steps tracking setup to accommodate whatever your cadence is for tracking that metric. So that's all you need to do to get this set up. So I can launch that and it'll fall into the planner. But let's have a look at what this will look like once we do that. So uh, right away, I'll see that currently we're at 0% progress. So that makes sense. Cascade is saying that I'm roughly 2.07 million behind. And it's reiterating my target of 5 million just below that. So all of this is coming from that tracking setup we have in there as a baseline from our start date to our due date. By default, Cascade's going to look at that and say, all right, well, hopefully roughly halfway through this timeline, we'll be roughly halfway to our target. So uh, right now it's looking at that and it's saying, okay, we're roughly 2.07 million behind. That makes sense. So I can literally click in here and update where exactly we are. I'm just going to say 2.5 million. There we go. And you'll see that that automatically shifts my status from behind to on track. And I'm even slightly ahead right now. Uh, we're just approaching the end of... Uh, quarter two here. So we're just about to expect more progress, as you'll see in a second. Um, but now I'm at 50% of my progress. I'm on track. If at any given time, I feel like my progress is uh, better than what Cascade is calling out, then I can override the Cascade driven status here if I want to. But if we want to stick to being as objective as possible, what we're going to do is expand the sidebar here, and we can dive into the tracking details on the tracking tab. This is where we can really dive into what specifically needs to be our setup for our KPI targets along the way. So here's that expected progress curve that we set up as part of the build. And you can see that it's expecting an even step of progress across the timeline leading up to that $5 million. So this is really useful. Cascade is trying to help keep us honest here, right? So um, we may or may not have specific projections for this target, or maybe we just have a number that we want to hit by the end of the year as a starting point and work our way backwards. Either way, this is going to help to keep us on track so that we don't have to get all of this progress all at once at the last second. Now, if I do have projections that I want to set for this, I can edit the expected progress here, and this will let me edit those different data points so that I can set projections in a way that makes sense. Maybe I'm measuring against our sales of last year, and we want to stay above that every single month, for example. All these points are cumulative, and I can see all of them in this table down below, starting with month number one, which goes from January 1st to January 31st. So I can just simply click into these targets here, and then as I do that, it'll edit the chart above. So let's say we, we're going to up this to 410,000. So you might have seen up here these steps jump around as I adjust those. 
And then over time, it'll tell you this is how much we're going to have to change or increase the progress from month to month. You may have uh, historically had busy seasons versus slower seasons uh, throughout your year over year tracking. So this is where you can sort of accommodate that with your targets per month. Remember, it's all cumulative leading up to that $5 million at the end, which we all agree we want to hit 100% by the due date. So once I save that done, I'll have that updated tracking curve to show my accurate projections there. And as you go along updating your progress on things like KPIs and stuff, you can always do that directly from the sidebar, clicking directly into this completion. You can click and drag the bar here. And when you're working on the work board, you can simply click into the target cell or in the table there and do the exact same thing that I did here in the sidebar. So this is how KPIs are, are best set up in Cascade. And if you want to, you can also do things like integrations with Zapier or via our API to automatically push data points to your KPIs as well. But that's a lesson for another day. Hopefully this is helpful.